have a problem here that asks us about a normal distribution with a mean of 98.23 and a standard deviation of 0 0.62. And then in the first part of the question, it asks uh, if we're using 100.6 as the lowest temperature, what percentage of normal healthy persons would be considered to have a fever? So for this kind of a problem, we want to convert this to a z-score. Uh, we're normalizing our statistic. So we're taking this 100.6, we're using this formula, and z is equal to x minus mu over sigma. So in this formula, x is the number we're interested in, 100.6, mu is the mean, 98.23, and sigma is the standard deviation, 0.62. So down here, we put all of those numbers into that formula and run that through a calculator, we'll get Z is equal to 3.82. Now, what this is telling us is that that temperature, 100.6, is 3.82 standard deviations above the mean. And if you recall uh, from the... Um, empirical rule, 99.7% of all the data in a normal distribution is going to be within three standard deviations of the mean. And here we're out at almost four standard deviations. So that's kind of way out there. And in fact, if you plug that into like a TI-84 calculator or Excel, you'll find that the probability of a number being greater than that in this distribution is 0 0.00007. I think I have the right number of zeros there. Uh, I might have left out a zero. It's tiny. It's very small. Um, it's like 0.0007%, which would suggest that this cutoff of 100.6 is not appropriate. It's way too high. You're almost never going to see anybody unless they're really sick. Well, maybe it is appropriate if you want to eliminate false positives. I guess it depends on what your goal is as to whether that's appropriate. Now for part two, um, we want to find the minimum temperature that only 5% of the healthy people will exceed it. So that's just rearranging this formula. Uh, we know from 5% that, you know, 95% of the data in a normal distribution is, um, we want a Z of 1.64. That's just one of those things you do a lot of statistics, you'll learn it. It's easy to look it up. But 1.64 is what we want Z to be. And we still have the same mu and sigma. Now we want to solve for X. So this is the formula. And then we can just do some algebra and rearrange it. So we multiply both sides by 0 0.62. We get to this. And then we take this 98.23 and add it to both sides. And then we get X is equal to this. And then we plug that into a calculator. We find that X is equal to 99.25. So if we set 99.25 as our temperature, only 5% of healthy people would exceed that. Uh, so that's how to do these normal distribution problems. You convert it to a z-score and then look it up in a table. And I'll go back here and tell you the reason I didn't look this up in a table and show you how to do it. Honestly, I couldn't find a table that went that high. Most of the tables that I have cut off at about 3 or 3.4 because you just rarely see a number that's that far out in the tails of the distribution. But anyway, that's it. I hope that helps you learn how to do these uh, z-score problems and these normal distribution problems.